Good morning, folks. Today is Friday, June 14th, day 118. Just getting ready to break down, or just have finished breaking down camp. Getting ready to hit the trail. You can see Bluegrass over here making his final preps. Getting ready to hit the trail. We'll probably do another, I don't know, 15 to 20, somewhere in between there. We'll probably do that today and then get on into town tomorrow. Beautiful sunrise coming up. Let's see if you can see through the trees. Just see a little bit through there. Now it's not going to show up on camera too well, but beautiful morning. Getting ready to get everything done, and we'll be out there in just a minute. Got a beautiful morning this morning in the 60s. Nice and cool. Of course, it's supposed to heat up to about 93 today. Let me go acknowledge the trail while I'm here. So it's gonna be a hot one. Should make it out of Pennsylvania tomorrow, I'm thinking. Don't know if we're going Pretty certain we're not gonna do it today. It's about 30 miles away, so I'm pretty certain about that. These rocks are gonna determine how far we go today. I'd get some of the forest while we're going through it. Today's not had a lot of hill climbs. I don't think we're gonna have many today. We'll have some. But the rocks are pretty rough. I say that as I get to an area that doesn't have a lot of rocks, but Now I can change my mind and say, oh, this is nice. Because it literally thinned out about the time I got the camera out. Got a few of them down here, but they're not too bad. Oh, it was nice while it lasted anyway. Pretty section of woods in the morning. And as you can see, Mountain Lars was still in blue. And 
real pretty section trail right through here. Grass is growing on both sides, not too many rocks. Almost like walking in a park. We had this all the time, this would be a breeze. Except for the mosquitoes. I told you guys that Pennsylvania has a few rocks. Guaranteed not to make good time in this stuff. Worst part about it, I like to look around and see what's in the forest, which also is probably the reason I fall a lot. But I can't do it here. Because with all these rocks, I'm concentrating on every single step. <clears throat> and we've got our first view of the day, courtesy of the transmission line. Get on up here so we can see it. <laughs> Looks like somebody's using this as an observation point. There's the couch to set up and look either sunrise or sun sunset. I could see where if the sunrise or sunset's over there, you'd have a pretty view. Let me get out from under this tower so we don't have the tower grids in the picture. Either way, we're going to have power lines in the picture, but that may be a little better. You'll follow on with the rocks. Day's kind of rough on the feet up until this point. Most of the days have been rock fields along with some smooth surface, but the smooth surface was, or rather smoother surface, I should say, was more than the rock fields. Today it's flip-flopped. Today there's more rock fields and every now and then you might get a stretch where it's smooth, but this is pretty much what we've been in all day long. And these are those grapefruit-sized rocks. They have the little sharp points like that right there. And they don't feel real good on your feet after a while. So it has slowed us down tremendously. I don't even know if we'll get 15 today. We might get 14. We're gonna try though. We're gonna see what we can do. Uh, looks like we got a look out here. So and it's right off trail. So might as well look at it and see what we got. Let you guys see it. It's not going to be much. I can stand on that rock and maybe get a little more, but it's still not going to be much with all the trees. You see it as I see it.
coming down in the wind gap. Must be a place here where we can get some food. A little bit of resupply, that's all we need. Traffic seems pretty bad down here. Hey folks, we decided to make us a little stop at Detsy's Tavern in Wind Gap, Pennsylvania. Oh yeah, look at that Stromboli right there. Oh yeah. So this is the whole gang here. So we're gonna we're eating us a little bit of lunch and probably gonna stay here tonight. They're calling for rain and the owner here actually told us we can sleep on the patio here tonight. We got outlets to plug in and charge everything. So we're gonna enjoy ourselves tonight. So we'll see you guys after a while. All right, guys, so it is round two. Look at those nachos right there. We're getting ready to go round two on this food over here. We're, we're gonna enjoy that. So let me introduce you to a few people that you probably already met some of them. Here's Pacer over here. There's hey. Cold Cut sitting over there. So you guys, I've already introduced you to them. This is Tribute sitting over here. And I wanted to introduce you to Tribute. Tribute, instead of Tribute. Uh, tribute is from the United Kingdom and he's uh, hiking for charity. So we're gonna let him, uh, I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit about his charity and uh, what it's all about. So Tribute, tell us about it. Yeah, hi guys, uh, my name's Tribute. Uh, so yeah, the reason I got the name uh, Tribute in the first place um, is I'm hiking in memory of a friend of mine, uh, Johnny Young, um, who sadly took his own life a few years ago. And the kind of fallout of that is the, the reason why I decided to hike the trail. Um, you know, hiking it in his memory, and uh, also to raise money uh, for a charity uh, called Movember, um, which is a men's mental health charity. Um, so I'll get you the link. Um, and if anyone feels like they're in the position to be able to donate, that'd be uh, very much appreciated. Um, I'm trying to raise one pound for every mile of the trail. So I'm trying to raise about 2,200 pounds. I'm almost um, getting there. So. Uh, any donations would be very much appreciated, or even just sharing it, or any kind of word of mouth would be would be great as well. Okay, well, tribute, thank you, and, and guys, I know mental illness is something that touches a lot of us, and and, and we all know somebody who's had some problems or, or has something in there. So this is a very good, worthwhile cause. So if you feel the need, I'm going to put the link up above, so you'll see the link to get to it. And uh, if you feel the need to donate, please do. If not, just like he said, spread the word. Get yeah, All right. Thank you, Tribute. So, nacho time. Huh? Nacho time. <laughs> That's right. It's nacho time. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you guys after a while.